guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Zune HD Marketplace. When we first heard about the Marketplace on the Zune HD, we thought, okay, well, Windows Mobile is getting a Marketplace in October. Does that mean that the Zune HD will be able to run Windows Mobile apps, or at least some of them? The answer is no. The marketplaces are not related. They're two different tracks on Microsoft. In fact, the marketplace on the Zune HD is closed. There's no SDK. Third-party developers at this time cannot create applications for the Zune HD. Um, it's possible that that may change in the future, as Microsoft has said publicly. Um, but for now, let's take a look at their implementation of the marketplace on the Zune to see if we can learn anything about what's coming up in Windows Mobile. So I'm going to turn on the device. It's got this cool unlock screen, and let's zoom in a little bit. Also, a lot of people said that the uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 Titanium interface is kind of Zune inspired. While that may be the case, um, it's not really so on the Zune HD. I mean, it's basically a scrollable list on the main screen. You press the home button and you always come back to this area. So let's go into the marketplace. And the marketplace is actually divided into two things, applications and music. You can't download movies onto the Zune HD directly. You have to do it from your computer. Let's go to apps since that's what we're talking about right now. And right now we're in all apps. Let me show you all of the apps. Calculator, Chess, Gooseblat, Hexic, Shell Game of the Future, Space Battle 2, Sudoku, Texas Hold'em, and Weather. That is it. These are all Microsoft in-house developed games. They're all free, and I've actually downloaded a few of them so you can get a feel for their quality. So go back to this screen, but go to where it says apps. And here are three games I've downloaded. Or, well, here's an application. Let's see what Calculator looks like. You get the little Zoom logo. And hey, what do you know? It's the most basic calculator you could ever imagine. And you can turn it over to Landscape and get another uh, view. That's kind of boring. Let's see what else uh, we have in the apps. Let's take a look at chess. Now this is very annoying. You get a Kia ad every time you play chess. What's up with that? You're, you're trying to play a free game on a device that you just paid two, three hundred dollars for. Now you have to watch a commercial. Uh, I guess it covers Microsoft's cost of development for the chess game, um, but um, you have to sit through that every time, every time you want to play chess. So here it comes. It's a little bit slow, but the graphics are actually pretty decent once you get in the game. Okay, so single player. Screen's very responsive. It would be nice if the Zune HD was actually a phone. It would make a really awesome phone. I'm going to resume. I already started a game. And here's chess. Basic, simple chess game. It's not 3D or anything, but it's, it's quite easy to use. And you get the idea. Let's go back to the other app that I had downloaded onto the device. And again, hey, you want to buy a Kia? Anyone? I guess we'll wait that out. Shell game of the future. It says shake. This has an accelerometer in it. Well, this looks too boring to even play. Microsoft says that there are higher quality applications coming out later in November, such as 3D games. We've seen some pictures of these, plus a Facebook Twitter app, which would be useful. I just hope that they're faster loading than are these other games and apps, and that they don't have a commercial run every time that you want to play it. So overall, it looks like the marketplace for Zune and the marketplace for Windows Mobile are totally separate. They have nothing to do with one another. Um, and, and our hopes for having Windows Mobile apps on Zune and Zune apps on Windows Mobile devices is now shattered. Um, that said, we really hope that Microsoft puts in place some of these design elements of the Zune HD UI into Windows Mobile 7 or the next version of Windows Mobile 6.5. We'll be back soon to talk about the internet experience on the Zune HD. We can learn a little bit more about what Microsoft is thinking by taking a look at sort of how they arrange everything on the Zune HD. A very beautiful device with a gorgeous interface and a lot to offer. We'll be back soon with more.